Hey everyone, welcome back y'all. We are back with our grocery haul for the first week of September. Y'all, we are running on a super duper tight budget. We're having $200 for groceries for the entire month of September because we are eating out of all three of our prepper pantry freezers and our entire prepper pantry shelves. So while we're eating through things and getting ready to rotate to go ahead and restock, that will be coming up here soon as well. I'm gonna go ahead and let you know we got this from Instacart, Aldi delivered, $70, $20 over budget this week. So that means next week, instead of spending $50, we can spend 30. So let's go ahead and get into the video. So we got three Gatorades, y'all. I have plenty of Gatorade bottles in stock, but I did get three more Gatorades. Y'all, we do keep the bottles because we reuse these to not only put powdered Gatorade back in here, and shake it back up but this is a great portion control for kiddos especially um, lemonade sweet tea anything that we make drink wise we could put in here recap it and put it back in the fridge I bought three more bottles we have a two liter of soda that's just for the kiddos there's a couple of sweet treats you're gonna see in here and that's because we're on such a tight budget I do have a prepper pantry restock video getting ready to come in and I'll speak more about that and a later video so we're going to be restocking our freezers and our prepper pantry shelves so with that being said and we're going to do it on a budget y'all we got another bag of tortillas i just pulled up the last bag of tortilla chips so i just want to go make sure that we have enough in stock we have two cucumbers we have another thing of sweet treats for the kiddos these are the shortbread cookies the fudge stripe ones They've gone up in price, just like everything else has. We have our Maraquip for literally five dollars. I don't know. I just don't. I can't speak. Five dollars for Maraquip. That's all I'm gonna say. I'm gonna leave it at that. We've got three loaves of bread for the week, both for the kids here who are homeschooling, and for my daughter Danya, who is taking her lunch uh, to school off and on as well. Um, we do have a three pack of green peppers back here. They were very reasonably priced. So we have those. Oops, that's all we have back there. Okay. We have a bag of Roma tomatoes. We have two bags that we are restocking for egg noodles. Y'all, I have a lot of pasta in stock. What I don't have is a lot of egg noodles. I have penne. I have macaroni. Um, small macaroni I have bow tie and I have a bunch of fettuccine and spaghetti but we were starting to run low on egg noodles and I find them cheaper at Aldi than I do at Walmart these were only a dollar twenty-five per bag y'all I haven't seen that price in a long long time so we have that we have two things of cream cheese we have four extra cans of cream of mushroom this is one thing you'll be seeing me stock here extremely soon due to the fact that we have no more cream of mushroom soup in stock. We have gone through all of our prepper pantry cream of mushroom soup. So we have four of those. And we use that for solely for the tuna casseroles that we also use the egg noodles for. We don't use it for anything else other than that. We went downstairs and pulled off, off the last shelf um, in the prepper pantry. We pulled off the last of the pickles that we had in stock for my son. I have regular bread and butter pickles. He doesn't like it. And then we have the dill ones. And that's the one he likes. That's the one we were running low. We have four more of the pot pies that's strictly for Jessica and Philip uh, during the week for lunch option that they could have while they're here homeschooling as well. And then we have our ground beef. Now, y'all, this is the cheaper ground beef. This is the 7327, 299 a pound. I haven't seen meat this cheap and I can't remember how long. It's not the best grade or quality, I understand, but it's cheap. It's cheaper than paying over four and a half dollars for 80 20 or whatnot even going higher and expecting to pay more for higher meat now what I will say is that my half chihuahua half dachshund and my other chihuahua so it's Tucker and Jaya um, are on 90% lean ground beef because Jaya has um, pancreatitis and she has to be on lean meat when I go ahead and make her homemade dog food she has an intolerance to chicken and turkey. Unfortunately, she should be on turkey. It's the best to put her on. But I can't give her more than one ounce in her meal if I do it that way. Otherwise, she becomes very sick to her stomach. So 
this meat is for the family. Yes, the dogs are going to get a better grade of meat than we do, but we're not hurting and it's okay. This is still edible meat for us and our portions are bigger than what the dog's portions are. So that is what we have for you today. If you have any questions, comments, concerns, any of that, go ahead and hit me up in the comment section down below. We'll catch you in the next video. Until then, Without Limits is out.